The Everyman's Golfer, the J-Bone, is back. On the back nine at Els Club de Saru Valley Golf Course, he'll hit all the shots right up until green side. I'll also hit his chip shots and resulting <laughs> putts. We'll both finish out the hey, hole in our own I way. Will there be a big difference if a four handicap plays green side shots for an 18 handicapper? My first instinct is to say yes, but is it that black and white? We'll see how J-Mac misses the greens in areas I usually wouldn't want to. Let's see what happens and talk through anything that may help J-Mac lower his scores even more. It's anecdotal, but it's fun. J-Mac Dingle has been improving his ball striking, so why is he not shooting the sub-85 rounds I know he's capable of? He is an 18 handicap, so we add one shot to the par of each hole, then bogey becomes the new par. This is a great perspective, so you get over the obsession with old man par. Pars are superb scores for any amateur golfer. Par is not merely the expectation, it's brilliant. Always remember that. After three shots that were good enough, J-Mac took two in the bunker. This is unusual because he's become a bouse out of the sand. That one little shot means he scores a 7 instead of a 6. These things happen and we must remember there are always a few par opportunities out there for us. Great shot boy. Great shot my man. Lovely. Great shot. Here's an example of a place I would really not like to miss this green. I don't mind missing it on the right, but not this high up. From here, we're pitching onto the downslope toward water with the grain running away from us. The angle is not the problem, but we're too far away from the green. If we carry it onto the green, we're in the water. We have to bump it into the fringe from a downslope lie. I would say this is semi-short-siding ourselves. To avoid this, we'd have to hit one less club and be in the fairway short right. Oh, look at that. Great hey? Job. He's got that mojo working, eh? Okay, no problems. It's official. J-Mac has become a certifiable bouse from the sand. When you become a bouse from the sand, you fear bunkers less, and you can actually use them to your advantage. Sometimes it's easier to get up and down from a bunker than a tight fairway lie onto a downslope. You can aim for bunkers and know you'll be okay. What a guy, man! What a what a player! What a polo! What a shirt! What a hat! <laughs> oh boy! Calm down. Same as yesterday. Okay. J-Bone leaves the shot in a position that is 100% a short siding. Where would a better place be? Perhaps short of the green or in the bunkers themselves? Chipping from above the green to a pin cut tight on the right side is not easy. Add in the fact that the grain is running away from us, as you can tell by the shiny color of the green, and it's a certain bogey every time. I'd prefer to see him short of the green or in the bunkers. He'd have more spin coming off the ball in the bunkers or would have a whole green to chip up if he were short. The pitch from above the green, from a flyer lie, means there's a 1 in 20 shot of making par here. Wow. 
What I love about J Mac Diggity is this hybrid. It's actually quite sensual to watch him hit it in the panty. Okay, just uh, just short of the water there. That's not a problem. Okay, so J Bone stopped just short of the water there. Not the easiest lie, but at least let's get it up there. Whoa. Okay, that's good enough. I can there, tell you it's a four or five shot hole until I'm blue in the face, but we need to find a way to play it where we hit our favorite shots. Any form of risky shot is inviting a botch up and that kills the hole. J Mac hit four very puffy shots, but you know why they are the best kind of puffies? He's greenside in four shots. Not a single one of those shots were special, but he's next to the green with a chance of getting it up and down for a six. That six will feel like an eagle after those shuries. Par fives seem to be the pain point for the high handicapper, but watch how J Mac gets it on like a true player. That's the shot. That's what a exactly player. what I thought was going to happen with mine. What a beauty, mate. Cold swing, and it's gonna run like a. Like a can you run like that guy, Red? Yeah. Gattis. Huh? Gattis. Yeah. What you hitting? Okay, 52. 52. Not gonna lie, I don't know how to open that. Okay, this one you wanna just uh, find a little button here and open it up like that. Wow. There you go. Okay, that's it. No, a little pitching hybrid, it's okay. Just roll, just roll forever. Keep going. Go, go. Because if that rolls out long enough, you've got an easy shot into the green. Yeah. Okay, the J Meister is down there. He's lying three shots. So let's see what he does here. This will be a miracle shot because this is not easy. Oh my goodness, that is a shot. Oh, oh my God. So unlucky, man. J -Bo I think J Mac through? knows himself well enough and he is comfortable with his game. There are a few places he can nip and tuck to tidy it up and save some strokes. But I mean, shot, players, if you're shot. happy and getting joy from the game, play on. <laughs> Check this out. He's so sick, eh? How can you laugh at that, j -Bone? That's a really yeah, that's filthy so six. You love the beach today, my boy. Oh man, look oh, at I'm that. Oh. What a professional player. Oh. What an up and down. Oh. Up and what a down. butter. What a butter. Get in this. Get in the bone. J Style had a few issues with the driver the day before, so he didn't oh, take it out for that. today. Today he wanted what to keep it in play and enjoy the game without losing balls. I like this approach shot. It's quite okay, high percentage. His bad miss with the hybrid is a block to the right, which is safe below the bunkers. If he Up tops it, side, eh? he's in the fairway with another approach.
Yeah, well, if you're going to shuri it, shuri it long. This is a perfect uh, example of how we want to prove our own world views, players. All the best intentioned ideas in the world cannot help if the mind closes to them. J-Mac wanted to hit a 58 degree from here. I know his distances and his 58 degree is a great choice from 60 to 70 yards. His 52 degree is great from about 85 to 90 yards. With a backstop behind the pin where the ground slopes steeply, the ball will roll back onto the green if he goes long. He won't go long, but it's an option. With the incline, he will lose about 5 yards on the shot, which will leave him a 15. He tries the 52 degree, but inside his mind, I can see it. He's saying, this is not the right play. Of course, we do what our brains tell us. So, against the rules of golf, I know, I let him retake it with his idea. The 58 degree went exactly where he said it would, but the distance was exactly as I said it would be. This isn't really a battle of Matt versus J Mac, though, players. This is a battle of the internal thoughts and ego. J Mac hits a great ball. These types of choices become easy. There is no ego inside 100 yards. Whatever gets the job done, gets the job done. We must learn to trust a good plan. Committing to a bad plan is a great start because you learn commitment, and I love that. But eventually, once you learn to commit to a plan, we have to start committing to better plans. This will elevate the game to a new level for you. Being in control of your mind, your plans, your emotions, and your strategy is so empowering. For the first time in your life, you may feel like you're actually playing golf instead of hacking a ball around a field.